This is the second year that we've done this project. Always a learning curve, scale of it. We've got more than 960 shipping containers built into four stages. We've got the heat factor and dust factor involved. The new IP units are great. Dust, dust and sand here is a real killer of fixtures and these are handling it very, very well. The advantage for us is that they're very lightweight, so we can fix them into unusual places. This is an unusual gig, it's not straight trusses on a stage. Everything is custom rigging brackets everywhere. We've got more than 2,000 welded rigging points on the structures here. When I look at the lighting that I use for the designs, I, I usually look at depending if it's an indoor or an outdoor festival. Just give me a, a wash uh, and a hybrid hybrid spot beam and, and a strobe and I'm happy. I just need three fixtures on my rig and a lot of them. I don't need a wide variety of them. The weight is uh, important in how you rig things and in terms of uh, this little thing is, is very lightweight and you can put a lot of them together. Uh, with easy compatibles, big shows and small shows. So uh, depending on what venue you go into, you're not limited by the weight restrictions on certain fixtures. Uh, for outdoor venues, it's a great fixture to have on the floor. Uh, some side lights, or uh, I, would, I would use it definitely as a, as a backlight, an effect light uh, with all the macros in it. The harsh environment here, it's not, it rarely rains, but the sand and dust is really abusive to kit. So we're looking to put IP rated fixtures out here so they don't get trashed from all the, the sand and, and dust. Uh, we hadn't really found a good wash light that we liked. This came out just in time to make it here for this year. The weight is a real biggie, actually the fact it's no bigger because it means we can take it home and use it for regular touring stuff, which most other options are not, you know, they're too big and heavy and there's too much of a compromise. The IP rating with the small size and weight has made it a, a, a real winner so that we can use it, you know, through the winter back home on touring stuff. It just needs to be a good wash light to start. Anything else is a bonus and it is a good wash light and that, that's the most important thing. Aura has been a work horse for, for many years. Um, this one seems to be a bigger step up from, from the Aura and a big, um, yeah, big build on the experience that you guys have brought into the industry. Um, that's, that's certainly will be used and I really hope that there is more of these around because it's it's such a it's a much better light. Predominantly my work is in uh, TV lighting design so uh, it's a good candy light. There's a there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of little features in there that look work well on camera. By playing with those and playing with the effects on the back you're gonna get some amazing bits of twinkle in the background. I love that kind of abstract look that you're going to get out of it on a, on a shallow depth of field, so I'm quite excited to play with that. We saw the XIP at Plaza this year, Plaza 2022, and we really liked it. We thought it was a great fixture. I think one thing that stood out to us particularly was the fact that it had all the benefits of a typical aura, plus all these great new features. And I think also it being an IP rated fixture, it sort of set a precedent that an IP rated fixture doesn't have to be a drawback, it's now actually an addition. This is not just a fixture for the next couple of years, this is 
the next aura for the next decade. So yeah, we, we were really sort of happy that what's been then produced for that is exactly on point with what we wanted.